Hey YouTube, it's your boy. Hey YouTube, it's Watson World here, man. Kasim right here. Kareem. I mean, Watson World. The know. biggest Watson. But uh, yeah, these next couple of days, we're gonna be we gonna be showing y'all like a little vlog of our weight gain at CSUB. You know, I'm mean, gonna show y'all the travel, what we eat, hotel, different stuff like that. Um, right now we just got done our workout before practice. Practice got we got practice at 12:30. We had to work out at 10. We got, got team meal. We got team meal afterwards. Yeah, right. after practice, we we'll we'll hop on a bus yeah. to Santa Barbara. Uh, yeah. What else? I see how this guy be cutting me off. He don't even like. He don't even know what he's talking about, bro. Because I'm losing. Explain it to him again, bro. Explain it to him again. Come on, explain it to him again. Uh, bro. I'm gonna catch the ball on the right wing. I'm gonna rip by him and dunk on him. That's that's all right. But yeah, it's gonna be a vlog about weight gain, man. We're gonna catch y'all after practice. Let's go. What's up, y'all? Just got done practice. Gonna eat something. I'm coming in. Hey, Mark, we on the vlog, Mark. Everybody, the man, the myth, the man, the myth, the legend. You know, I told you to sing, man. You told me. Okay, oh, wow. I'm, trying, I'm, I'm giving you praise right now. You, 50, 50. I know I'm messing, I'm messing with more right here. <laughs> like this, ball, right here, right here, right here. But now nah, we just got done practice. Um, right no, hey, no finna, finna get something to eat right now. Uh, let's see what they got blocked before us. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. Firestone. <sighs> Yo, what, what what this guy is doing, bro? What are you doing? I was strong. But yeah, man. So Just got done practice. What's up with you? Some Firestone, yeah, man. Fucking sag head, bag head. What is this? Bro, new Watson gear? Nah. Hey, man. Some merch. Watson gear right here, bro. <laughs> Watson gear, bro. Get your gear up. Watson gear. Hello, burger. Watson World. You see the, you see the logo? No, bro. It's not, it's not Watson logo. But yeah, I'm about to get in a shower back right here, get dressed, and then I'll see you on the bus. Hey you guys, boy Reem. Uh, I am currently in the weight room because I have to lift. Life has a red shirt. Uh, we actually got off the bus around, I wanna say about like 5.30. I'm lifting so late because I had to wait until my coach sent me my workout for a day. And uh, it took him like about an hour long. I don't know why, he told me to send him a picture of the weight room. And it actually took him a while to send me the picture. But um, yeah, I'm in here. I actually started my workout cause I'm a little behind, but I uh, remember I had to show you guys that I had to lift today and this. This is the life of a red shirt, man. When you red shirt, you literally just eat, lift, and work out every day all day, every day of the week, no breaks. And plus, to add on to that, you have to practice with the team, you gotta you gotta do film with the team, you gotta do everything that the team do, but actually playing games. Plus your own lifts, your own workouts, your own everything. So uh, I've been here for about like an hour and 30 minutes. It's currently about, should be close to seven o'clock uh, after this. I have 
to, I had film and then I got to eat. We got team dinner, a team film. We playing a team that we already played before in our conference, so film shouldn't be that long. Um, I can't wait to see what we had to eat because I am so hungry. But uh, this is what the weight room looked like. I'm gonna show you guys. So this is the weight room. This is not much. But what weights are those? Oh, that's 25. That's, don't mind that, don't mind that. That was a little warm up. See, your boy getting a little, boy getting a little big, feel me? But uh, I'm gonna do some curls, some push-ups. Some rows. Uh, probably get a little work in over here. I'm not really going to work out what my coach sent me because he sent me a lot. And I lifted like six times this week. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to get back on here when I weigh about 300 pounds. Guys, I have a quick question. Am I the only one who wants to get in shape, who needs to get in better shape, but hates running on the treadmill and get on the bike? Bro, like getting on a treadmill is like, you know how when you gotta run or you gotta sprint with your team, and like sometimes you get to pick and choose when you wanna kinda slow down a little bit? On a treadmill, you have to run at the same pace the whole time and I hate that and I actually I actually know how to run like I'm actually like I run hard like I actually know how to run but the treadmill is just different it's like you gotta stay at the same pace the whole so you going for an hour you have to stay at that pace the whole time usually if you like running on a track or you're running on a court you know sometimes you run super fast and a couple times you be like all right let me slow down Catch my breath. On a treadmill, you have to go the whole time. Bro, it is so exhausting. I'm out. See y'all back. Just got to the hotel. Stuff like that. Um, right now, I'm just watching the game. The coaches are mm -hmm. always Man, that's, man just killing it here right now. My guy Kyle Lowry on here, so I'll turn, turn this thing around. But um, yeah, this is the hotel. It's the room. Yeah. We really got no view. I mean, like, it's just pitch black, literally. I'll show y'all. Look at this. I'm, we in Santa Barbara. I'm thinking I'm about to see some, I think I'm about to see some palm trees and look. But, um, yeah, we just got to the hotel. So, we're going to eat around. It's probably like 6.40 right now. We're going to eat. Yep. 6.40. But, yeah, we got it. Our coaches are going to pick up something to eat for us at, um, at around like 7.30, 7. So, um, yeah, we're going to get ready to eat. And then after we eat, we have film at 8.30. We're going to watch Santa Barbara, go over film, stuff like that, player strategy and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back when we get our full. I'll show y'all what I got. So, we'll show y'all what we got. What's up, guys? Just got that eaten. Sorry, I couldn't show y'all what I had. I was too hungry, so I just ate it. Like right away as soon as I got it. But it was Chipotle, I had a bowl, rice, white rice, cheese, steak, and chicken. Double chicken and double steak. So yeah, but um, I probably wonder why I'm in the bathroom. Uh, all the teammates, all my teammates were kind of in my room, so it was a lot out there, so I just came in here. But um, yeah, man, I just got that in. It's about 8.20 right now. I'm about to head down to film. We got film at 8.30. And yeah, we're about to watch film. So we were up against, and uh, yeah, catch you out the film. So up, y'all? Just got back from film, back in the hotel room. Just got done watching a great Lakers and uh, Grizzlies game. You know, that was a great game. But I um, mean, yeah, just got back from film. About to take it down, get in the shower and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch y'all tomorrow for breakfast.
YouTube. Uh, just woke up, just got done brushing my teeth and stuff like that. It was currently like 9.20, something around that. Yeah, breakfast at 9.30, so um, yeah. I'll be going downstairs right now and stuff, and I'll show you what we'll be eating and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, catch you down at breakfast. Good morning, guys. I just got some breakfast. Um, I actually had forgot my key. I got all the way up to my room. I forgot my bro. Look at my hair. But yeah, I had forgot my key upstairs, so I'm going to go get that from my coach right now. This hotel is nice. I got my practice with the shoe on. I'm about to get my key. We have retrieved our key. We're going back up to my room now. Get a little sleep change. Oh yeah, I do not take elevators alone. I take the stairs. I don't care if I gotta walk up to the 12th floor. Excuse me. I do not take elevators alone. Say if you get stuck on that elevator, then what? Do you know how scary that is, bro? I can't handle all that. So, I just woke up the stairs. Actually, it's a little workout. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so we got shoot around at 11. Then we usually come back here. Then our game's at 7. We usually leave around 5.30. But I swear, it's either a hotel room is either too cold or too hot. It's never, it's never the right. Y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all get what I'm saying. Like, it never feels like perfect. You know what I mean? What? Who cares? Is the TV going to work? No. Oh. Yeah, so I usually just chill. I usually just chill in my room until about 30 minutes before I have to leave out for uh for shoot around. Usually get dressed and all that other stuff. Yeah, bro, but college basketball, bro, is just early mornings, late nights. That's if you really want to be great. Like, I mean, you could wake up right before practice and you could leave right after practice, but the ones that, that want to be great, you know, they're going to wake up before weights and shoot, shoot after weights, shoot before practice, shoot after practice. And then, you know, it's only, if you think about it, get your work done early in the, in the day then at the practice you get to chill some days but i usually i usually shoot in the morning and at the practice you know because my ultimate goal is to get to the nba and you're not going to do that by just doing what everybody else doing you know what i mean Yeah, 
Yeah, for everybody that think college basketball is just what you see on TV, bro, it's not, bro. It's not. College basketball is a grind. You gotta grind. You gotta work every day. You always fighting for a spot. You can't, you never could get comfortable because you got seniors that's ahead of you and you got coaches just trying to recruit. And if they feel like you're not doing your job or you can't contribute in the future, they're just going to recruit over you, bro. So the only thing you can do through the ups and downs, bro, through the ups and downs, just just keep working, bro. Just what worry about getting to the next level. Don't worry about what your teammates doing, what your coach is doing, none of that. Just, just keep working because... At the end of the day, if your ultimate goal is to get to the next level and you're not focused on staying in college or, you know, like, if your goal is something beyond what you are in currently, then the only thing you should care about is getting better and then everything will take care of itself. You know, uh, you know, obviously keep doing your thing in school, you know. I'm a red shirt, but... I mean, Dean's List, because ultimately, in college, it's, it's all about you, bro. Like, I know you got to win. I know you want to play hard for your coaches and your team, but it's about you and your development. That's anywhere, high school, that's anywhere in life. It's, it's, it's always about you. You, like, you always got to take care of yourself, you know? So I always try to say, whatever's going on, just keep getting better. I don't care if your coach not playing you and you the best player on the team. Just keep getting better. Just keep getting better. That's all. In the classroom, just keep just keep getting good grades. Keep studying. Keep doing what you got to do because at the end of the day, everything going to take care of itself, bro. I promise you. I'm a perfect example to that. You know, I ain't really played early in high school. I just kept working. I just kept working. I didn't, I'm, I'm really sure right now, just keep working. And I promise you, bro, everything will come to light. Everything will come to light. That's how it was my whole life. I always had to fight for stuff. None was ever given to me. I always had to fight through something. I, I, I always had adversity everywhere I went. But now that I'm older, I'm almost 20 years old and I've been through all that stuff, you know, I'm used to it, so I know how to, I know how to fight through it. You know, whatever curveball they try to throw at me, I already know how to get through it. Cause it's just, it's just clockwork. I've been doing it my whole life. Adversity is, I don't really refer to it as adversity anymore because I'll always learn something from the, from the problems or obstacles that I had. You know, in, in high school. Nobody really told me or really like forced me to fix my attitude and my high school coach did. And I had some hiccups in the beginning, but I started learning that. Don't nobody want a kid with a bad attitude. So I fixed my attitude and picked up a couple scholarships. Now I'm D1, so just keep working, man. Don't, don't care about what nobody else say. Pick the right situation for you. And, you know, just just see where it take you, bro. Because it could take you so many ways, you know. Basketball is not for everybody. It's not everybody. Everybody can't go to the NBA. Everybody can't go D1. But make sure you give yourself a chance at whatever you, you're trying to do. Because at the end of the day, nobody cares. Nobody going to feel sorry. So... You gotta do it for yourself at the end of the day. Don't do it for your, don't do it for your mom. Don't do it for your, your dad, your grandparents, your friends, your girlfriend. Don't don't do it for nobody. Do it for yourself, bro. Cause at the end of the day, it's just you. And there, but enough of that pep talk, man. Uh, I'm about to take a nap and get ready for shoot around. Um, I will see you guys after shoot around. And yeah, Watson World, ow. What's up y'all? Just got dressed, shoot around after breakfast. Um, 
Yeah, man, we're about to leave. Get ready. It was mandatory that everybody got taped, so I had to get tape on my ankles and stuff like that. We got a lot of guys hurt right now, so. Well, not hurt, but banged up right now, so we're just trying to stay, you know, healthy, I guess. Take care of the body, getting taped and stuff like that. So, yeah, right now, my guy, dude, right here. Dude, club. Yes, sir. But, yeah, we're about to head down to the bus right now. Get ready for shooting around at like 11. And yeah, catch y'all there. Guys, I just got to the bus, and um, yeah, I couldn't really record for you guys after shooting around and stuff like that because I had to watch personal film and and uh, what I could do better in this game. So um, yeah, I did not. We did, all I did was we just ate. Um, yeah, and I, like I said, I watched film. I took a little nap before we had to come get on the bus and get uh, taped and dressed and stuff like that. So um, yeah, but now. We're here. Uh, this probably will be the last video or like footage you'll see of me or Reem for this video because um, we have to lock in and we have to get ready for the game. So, um, yeah, I'll catch y'all guys after the game and let y'all know our results. Uh, for sure, we're going to get the dub. Hopefully, we get the dub. And, um, yeah, that's what we're planning to do. So, yeah, catch you guys after, uh, after the game.